everybody welcome to another Jordan Empire video today we're fixing up well you know exactly what you need to buy and fix it up unless for some people you do have to pay for it and from what I hear it's a possibility that you don't have to pay for it it should be free but I know for all returning players from the old gen consoles to the new consoles they're free to purchase them as it is only one livery on it and that is the original campaign mode sprunk livery and you can mod it as for now we do have discounts on the respray and discounts on neon lights as everything else is full price and we'll also be showing a little trick on how to color the stock rims Here for the magic so let's get into it and see exactly what it costs to fix up where well, you know what to get and be ready for when you go to fix it up yourself as you know the car is in southern auto and it should be free and I'm not sure if that is for everybody, as I do know that they were around two to three hundred grand. But I cannot confirm that as it's always been free for me for all of the race cars that come out of the stock campaign mode. So it's right there, the Bravado Spunk Sprunk Buffalo. You see, it is free and does not have any options on different liveries for it. So let's fix it up and see what it costs. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? <laughs> Alright, the armor. 42.5. Brakes. 22.750. Brakes Bumpers. We have different options to race bumpers for, which does change the grill color or the piece under the grill, which is pretty much the bumper. Forty-nine hundred. Now that's a custom job. Rear bumper. You do have three different the stock, the custom rear bumper, and the sports rear bumper. I think we'll go with the sports. It's 3300. Engine. 21775 exhaust and racing exhaust 9 9750 Kind of like these better, but we will give you the price on the most expensive, so you'll know exactly what you need. The explosives I won't put on, so that is not included. The intercooler for the grill, it's three grand. put the ram air with the livery on it as the carbon hoods take off the livery don't quite like that the horn I will not include as it can range between a couple thousand to a hundred grand so that won't be included on the price as 
that would depend on what you decide you want on it. The lights, five green. Neons, 24 grand. As you need to remember, these are on sale through August 1st. The neon layout and the color are on sale. And the plate. 600 reef spray are on sale as well I mean of course it's like Almost all of my cars has got black in it. So we're gonna go with the black. Secondary color changes. I don't see nothing that the secondary color is changing right now, so it must be I'm going to change your roll cage. Cage is eleven hundred. The roof sunstrip on it seven hundred, and you can go with the carbon roof, which is one thousand hundred and fifty dollars. But it takes the livery off the top, and the numbers. So we'll go with the sunstrip seven hundred. So we can keep it looking like a race car. Skirts. I didn't go with the carbon, but I will add that. Spoiler options. Now this one, in my opinion, is the best. The stock car wing is four grand. Look, it's sharp. Suspension, forty-four hundred. Now that's gonna be a smooth ride. Transmission, twenty-six grand. Turns are going to be F-U-N. Turbo, 42.5. Here's a little trick that I was telling you about on changing the wheel color. As you can see, you can't change it on the stock rims. So what you can do is find your cheap set. And these are the cheapest, I do believe. So we'll get them. Go back. We'll change the color. Say black, so you can tell the difference. Wheel tight and stock rims. We'll go back to stock rims, and as you can see, the stock rims are now going to stay black. Woman, so that's the the way you can change the stock rims color to them. And tires. I will not add the, the rim in the price because that would depend on what you decide you want. And tire enhancement, 25 grand for bulletproof tires, which is needed on every car that you have in this game. And if you don't, you'll, you'll hate yourself for it, for not putting it on. The tire smoke, that will depend on what you decide you want. So that won't be added. The window tents, five grand, as I don't put it on any of my cars because we race them. And you can. And that is all you can do here. So again, let's check the secondary color. So 
confirm what it does change. It does change your change your interior color of the roll cage, and that's about all that I see it changes so far. Try to find the color closest to the livery on it. The lime green. And as for the rims, I am going to change them. And just you use that as a demonstration on how you can keep the stock rims and change the color. But the only thing with that is you can't put the white letter tires on the car. And you can't change them unless you have the aftermarket stuff on it. Which we can try. Okay. Now I can. Hold on. Now we'll go back and put the Classic 5s back on it. They should be free and we'll try the tire design put the white letter tires on it and we'll change it back to the stock rims and see if it'll stay which i'm not sure it will it will not but that is the way you can change the color of the stock rims just go put the cheapest rims on it you can put the color you want on it and then go back and change it back to the stock wheels and they'll be the same color as what you wanted on it for the stock rims yeah, well the sprunk, the sprunk car, I mean the sprunk buffalo, you can do it without that. And I figured that out the hard way, because I, I changed the rims and I changed the color and then I put it back to stock rims because I wanted to do the upgrade and put it on video. And then I seen my colors stayed the same, so I kind of figured that out by an accident. Yeah. I didn't see it work on none of the other cars. All right, we're gonna look for the Dodge SRT rims or something close to it. They got some that look like it. I got it on my other uh, Buffalo S, the stock one, well, the regular car, which the which these don't these look pretty close to the stock rims. Let's bring the stock rims back. Alright, now we'll go through it. Only difference is, is one of these, this one right here, the synthetic Z, they look kind of like the stock rims, but they kind of, they dip in a little bit. I mean, the stock rims dip in and then the, the other ones don't. So if you want the white letter tires and something that looks like the stock rims on it, you can go with the synthetic Z in the sports rims, and that'll keep your white letter tires on it. What is it called? Yeah, synthetic Z in sport. You said high end. All right, we'll check them out. All right, the Super G kind of favor them, but that's not quite it. There's some that's close, but it don't. It's not as close as the other ones. for some Dodge rims keep it official where's the rims that I have on my other one
I see them, but those are the carbon ones. That's not the ones I want. There they are. The Cheetah Double R's, I believe, is what I got. And it's got to be them. So the Cheetah Double R's are pretty much the Dodge SRT rims. So we'll put That's that on it. And for the full mod of the car, without buying it, if you do have to buy it, you're looking at $252,675. That excludes the the rims because that will decide on whatever you put on it yourself. The horns, that is not included because you can go from a couple grand to 90 grand on the horns. So that will depend on what you want on it. And also the respray and neons are on sale so take that and kind of apply it to what the price is here so it'll be just a little bit more than what you are hoping for because everything's on sale if you don't mod it before august 1st so again you are looking at 252,675 dollars to fully mod the buffalo s sprunk race car And if this video did help you out in any way possible, leave it so you won't miss the next video on whether we're fixing up a car. Do what? Yeah. Oh, it is over five. That's what I've been wanting to find out. I did not know that. Well, I'm glad you did bring it to my attention because I was thinking it was probably around three or so. No, okay, so I'm glad to know that then. That it's 500 grand to buy the Sprunk Buffalo S if you have to buy it. And if it's not free in your Southern Auto list, you have to pay 500 grand to fix it. And then the mod, I mean, to buy it, the mods are $252,675. So if you have to buy the car and mod it, you're looking at $752,675 to buy and mod the car if it is not free for you. So thanks to Crash Bears for bringing that to my attention that Mr. Boss put it on there for us because I everybody that I've talked to they've got it for free and some even told me that they got it for free even though they won't return them players so that left me to believe that they changed it to be free so now that I know it is five hundred thousand you're looking at seven hundred and fifty two thousand six hundred seventy five dollars for the full mod excluding the rims the horns and your respray and neons are on sale as well so take that and kind of add it to your price so if this video did help you and thanks for everybody let me know what it did cost because i sure didn't know that and if it did help you leave a like subscribe so you don't miss the next video we do streams on dlcs car fixing up mods and just pretty much making money and any hints and tips or anything that we think that could help you out or we find interesting we do make a video on it so subscribe and make sure you don't miss it i appreciate everybody's support and everybody that leaves a like and subscribes i appreciate every single one of you thank you for watching another jordan empire video and we'll see you in the next video